Hello, ladies. I am so honored to introduce a special guest today. Mia, not only did she come in and was very first charging only $25 for her services, but now, you know, she's charging $5,000 plus for her services. Um, she's also been able to help her son, which I'll let her talk about, and recently just published a book on digital marketing. Um, so it's just super proud of her, her mindset, the way that she's been able to evolve and grow, the way that she's been able to pour back into other women um, in this group has just been absolutely incredible. So I just want to bring her up here. Hey, Mia. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just super proud of you. You know, could you, first of all, just introduce everyone who you are, you know, what do you do? What's your magic? I'll remove myself so we can look at your beautiful face and that's like an insight on you. Thank you. Well, hi, everybody. I'm so honored and so thankful for being here. My name is Mia Valdez. I am from Mexico. I am a 41-year-old uh, woman, single mom, very proud of my two beautiful hairs. And, um, and what I do is I, I love digital marketing. And I'm a musician as well. I studied music, that's my degree. Uh, but then I discovered that marketing had a lot of creativity involved. So I discovered a very beautiful, beautiful world on the digital marketing. I love it. I love it. I'm so happy to have you here. And like the biggest thing, right, for anyone that's a mom, it's like we're trying to figure out how the hell to figure it all out, right? Make an amen. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And especially single mom, right? I've been a single mom for 10 years. Sometimes it feels like the whole world rests on your shoulders and um, and you're always like looking to figure it out. Now, at the same time, you're always super relentless and you'll do anything, you know, to figure it out, but it's still like it comes to you. So, you know, when when we first met like six months ago, right? Where where were you like mindset wise and your business wise, you know, um, compared to where you are right now? Ooh. Oh my God. So a funny story. Um, I was on a trip on the summer and I was by myself. I was traveling solo. So I had a lot of time to think about, you know, where was my life at that point and where I wanted to be. And one thing that really decided almost immediately is that I want to be able to be the owner of my time for my kids. Now, one thing that you should both know, uh, but that you and your audience might want to know, is that my two kids are in the spectrum. So they have a very specific skills that they need to be taken care of. And I'm not saying this in a diminutive way. Um, it's just that I want to be able to give them the whole support that I want. So for me, the easiest solution was to increase my or to put my energy into grow my business. Because if I can grow my business, I can do it online, I can be at home, and I can even take them to sports practice or therapy or all of these things. Like the main focus was I need to have time for them. I need to have time for them. And of course, I need to have time for myself as well. So the first thing that I needed to, that I, that I okay, that I need to change something because up to that point, I was sporadically getting clients that will pay me $120 here or $50 there. You know, like it, it was not constant. And I was doing so much work uh, that I wasn't, I wasn't even, I was even feeling guilty about charging the prices that I wanted to charge in that moment. So I was like, okay, once I'm back in Mexico, I'm going to start searching for ways to learn how to scale my business. And that's what I did. I started like looking, looking. And then I remembered that um, a friend of ours, Tiffany had introduced me to yourself uh, a year before. And I was like, oh, I remember there's this, this, there's this girl, Kayla, and I love her content. So I literally went into Instagram and searched for you. And you started pouring so much love and so much knowledge into your posts. 
that I even activated the notifications that every time I saw a, po a post of you, I was like, oh, okay, then I will leave everything going to Instagram. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. So then this challenge happened. Oh, just, um, it was a challenge. I, I, even, I don't even remember the name of the challenge. I was like, yeah, I want to join the challenge. And in one week in that challenge, I was able to sell a LinkedIn solution. And I was like, oh my God, what's going on? So in that moment, um, I started like, like become, I became your greatest fan. Um, so then I was, I was lucky enough to join the program. And, and to be honest, for me, it was a technicality. I want to learn how, how can I escalate my business? How, how, how? My mindset was very focused on how can I grow my business? But what I, what I learned and what I found in the program was so much bigger, so much beautiful. Um, you taught me how to face my own fears, how to face my own demons, how to become a better mom, a better human being. It makes me want to cry because all of the growth that I've seen is from that last week of September until now. And um, I mentioned this in one of the Elite Sales Women's meeting some time ago that looking back, I see that Mia and I don't, I don't recognize her anymore. I am thankful to her and I'm thankful, like, thank you for making this decision because now I'm in a position where I can pay for therapy. I can pay for the medication. I can pay for swimming lessons. I can pay for my nails. I can pay for my, you know, Things that you think, oh, that's so shallow, Mia. Yeah, it is shallow, but the feeling of being able to afford things, yeah, undescribable. And to be honest, it has nothing to do with my business. It has everything to do with my belief in myself. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm believing in myself and the way that I believe in myself is because of a lit woman. Because it is super important that us believe in ourselves, but it's also super important that we are able to face ourselves and see this is, these are the parts of my being that are not working anymore. Yeah. These are the parts of my being that in a moment kept me on a survival mode because I was scared, because I was afraid, but not anymore. I'm a grown person. I can grow out of this. And to be honest, I was coming for the technicality and I found a person here. And not to mention the container of beautiful, empowering woman that you have around you. Like, it, it's, I don't want to say it's unbelievable because it is believable. Women are for each other. Mm -hmm. We are competitors. We are not enemies. We are at our best when we are surrounding ourselves with other women. Oh, um, yeah, thank you. I think, um, you know, your your journey and how far you've come has been such an inspiration for other women in the group. And, you know, I feel like uh, exactly what you're talking about, like women are not competing against each other because um, I've all experienced it. I know you've experienced it. I've experienced it. And sometimes it's hard to like be trusting of like a group of women without there being drama or cattiness or judgment or Oh, like feeling like you're going to fit in, you know, so I completely understand that. And, you know, having the energy of women in there, like really wanting to change your lives and really pouring into each other is really beautiful. And I just like, I honor you so much. I think, you know, it's not petty or, or bad or ego driven to want to do your nails. And I think that society has made us feel bad for wanting to do good things for ourselves. Like, fuck yeah, get your nails done, you know, do your hair, right? Like, take care of you, pour into yourself. Like you're more than worthy to do that. You've put in the work, like you've put in so much work, like you're so deserving of getting your nails done. Right. You know, and, um, and, and for you to provide for your kids. And I understand like, you know, to afford medicine, right? Like that's the worst feeling in the world. Your kid is sick or not feeling good. And you feel like you can't help them because of a financial problem. Like there's nothing that can possibly describe that feeling. 
where you feel like you're like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, you know, it's absolutely horrible. It's uh, and, and I've been there um, when I recently um, separated for um, from my my second kid's dad. It it was a very precarious situation. Like I and I talk I talk about this in the group at some point. We were eating soup for three months because that was the only thing that I could afford. Okay, I was so in debt that. Um, now I get, I go back to that moment, not to feel sorry about myself, but to, to see how far we are right now, the mm -hmm. house that we have, the business that I have, all of the beautiful life that, that, that I have now. And to be honest, you have helped me through that path. Um, your audience need to know that we were on, on Valentine's day on a, on a session. And you ask us to do something for ourselves on Valentine's Day. And the first thing that I told you is that, it, guys, this was a month and a half ago. A month and a half ago. And you told, like, oh, I want you to go and do something nice for yourself. Da -da -da. And then, what are you going to do? And you asked me. And I was like, well, I can because today is swimming lessons day. And I have all of this. And I have all of that. And I need to pay this. And I need to pay that. And you were like, uh, no, you're getting your nails done. And um, and you gave me the most amazing, beautiful gift. And I was like, oh my God. And I, and, I, and I started crying. Like, I, feel, I remember, I, and I want to cry again. I'm sorry, I'm super, I'm a cry person. So I'm not ashamed of that, okay? I'm very proud of yourself. <laughs> but I remember that this is, this is what love is like, you know? This is what love is. And I want to be in this. In Kayla's same position that, no worries, I got you covered, babe. We're here in this together. And it felt so amazing. And that's why when you invited me to, uh, to, to, to this session, I was like, I need to get my nails done as Kayla. This is Kayla. So I was like, we had this bunch of books of colors. And I was like, no, just give me the books with red. I told the girl, I had books with red. So she gave me the books and I was like, no, this is not. Yeah, this is the one. Number 26. This is the one. Well, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and that's something that you also have taught us. You, you taught us. you have taught us to have fun, to, you know, like we're in this path. And that's, girl, you got to figure it out. It's mm -hmm. clearly that you are not teaching us about our own businesses because all of us have so many, um, it's so uh, broad. But you yeah. are teaching us about ourselves. And that is something that I I cannot stress enough. You come for the technical part, but you stay because of all of the inner work that you do on yourself. That's beautiful. Well, oh my God, that's so awesome that you did that with the nails. I love it so much. And I I, I honor you, Mia. Like, I'm just so proud of you. And um, I want to talk about something because you, you talked about, you know, the inner work. And I feel yeah. like I'm says women, like, it's really hard for us to be creative and create something new and have the energy to do new things without yeah. taking the time to heal. And you just released, you know, this book. I want you to talk about it because I feel like it came after you went inside and started healing all this parts of you that you had the energy to like, create this thing, right? Just so beautiful. Like, that's kind of how it works. So, like, give us the... Like, how did you come up with this idea? How do we get access to this book? Like, give us insight of how this happened. Oh, my God. Thank you. Yes, it came after healing, for sure. I started writing, writing this book a year ago, around March. And I wrote, like, the first half chapter. And then suddenly, I was like, I have writer's block. I have writer's block. Um, and then I found out that there's no such thing as writer's block. <laughs> it's just mental, but... Okay, we can talk about that in another time. Um, but I've been I've been on this journey. Um, there is a session, and I I also mentioned this on the Elite Sales Women's Group. Monday sessions for me are the most important because that's when we go through breakthrough. That's when we face ourselves. That's when you you hold a mirror to each one of us, and you're like, "This is you, girl." Go, you know, go. <laughs> so for me, I think that the session 
for because things happen and sometimes you cannot attend sessions but for me monday is mandatory like the only two times where i haven't been able to join one day's meetings is because i was sick i was sick that was it um or or oh two times i was sick and one time i was having my surgery so i was like i'm sorry i won't be able to be here <laughs> so um the healing part for me has been so incredible and i told i was telling the girls on 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 our chat that I even barely have changed things on my program. Like mm. the things I have changed in my program is just maybe like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and then do that and switch it, you know, stuff like mm -hmm. that. But it's about myself. So um and when I say it's about myself, it's about I wanna heal for myself. Because in the moment that I heal for myself, my whole environment is going to heal, my whole environment is gonna change. And it's going to improve. So I decided to, I don't know, I was starting talking. I, I, I was talking with a friend about mark, digital marketing. I was like, oh my God, it's so cool. You cannot, you cannot imagine the things you can do with the algorithm and social media. And for me, it's like a challenge. Like if I can beat the algorithm of a, of a, certain, um, of a certain social media page, I'm like, yes, I want you, robot. So for me, it's a challenge. <laughs> and I was that, and I was telling this to my friend. He was like, "Why don't you write about?" It? And, he's like, and I was like, "I actually started a book, uh, but I never finished it." Okay. And then, um, and then we, what we did is, he asked me like, he turned on the the voice, the voice um, option on his phone. He was like, "Okay, talk to me about." Give me seven main points of a good social media story. You know, like, oh, there's the audiences and this things and this that. And by talking, um, by the end of that conversation, okay, Latin, and he was like, okay, just um, develop the, the the topic of what's the great social media for you. And I was like, oh, it's like this, it's like that. So at the end of that conversation that lasted like two hours, he transfer me over the video and he was like i'm sorry then the voice note and he was like that's your that's your book and i was like what so the only thing that i need to do was to transcribe it edit it cool. and then um i'm in mexico but i also speak i, I also speak english as you can see now but i was like oh hey <laughs> and i was like why do i do it in english so i was like Google Translate, baby. Let's do it. But, so well, I, end up, I ended up um, finishing the book in two weeks. And I edit both books in a weekend. And we released the books last week. And you can find it on Amazon with my name, Mia Valdez. You can find it there. And I'm very happy. Um, and even though it's a, it's a technical book, um, and you don't necessarily dedicate your technical books to people. I decided to, of course, dedicate my first book to the four most important per people in my life, which is my family, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, and the reason behind the book is that sometimes people get so oh, people that are not familiar with digital marketing strategy get super overwhelmed. That's the main focus. It's it, it, the moment that I that I tell a person. That is not into marketing, about digital marketing strategy. They get super overwhelmed. So the book is just like, don't be overwhelmed. This is what you need to do. That's it. Mm. Yeah. No, I was super proud of you. And make sure you go back to the comments on this video and drop the link for that book. So if anyone wants to they get access to that. Um, but like, I'm just, there's so much that can happen, right? I think that we overwhelm ourselves so much. Yeah. Well, much we get so freaking complicated when it's just like it's so simple when your mind is clear you know and and I, like you said you came in for the technicality you know you got a lot more and i feel like it's like we as women don't have the ability to like hey let's focus on us because we're so worried about making money hey well like why don't we just do both come in learn how to make money start making money so that you can start taking care of yourself right and then if you could honor yourself and heal and learn at the same time as making money like you're gonna be super good, like Gucci. You're be super good, feel good. You feel an alignment. You get support. 
We need support. You can't do it alone. And so many of us like to do it alone. You're a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf. I like just do it alone. But we don't like to ask for support. And it's so important. You know, we get to be in a place where we get to love ourselves enough to ask for support with the people around us. Yeah. And in an environment where people are in alignment with the vision that you have for your life. You know? Um, Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, that's some, and that's something that... Um, but I learned through the group and through the system of bodies that you put in place. Um, so for me, I remember the first time that the first time that I I called my body in that my first body was Elena. And I remember that I messaged her and I told her I'm having a crisis. For me, just the fact of saying I'm having a crisis. For me, it was like years. It was a leap of hundreds and thousands of miles. Mm. And I remember that uh, Elena told me, that, "Oh, I'm dropping my kids on the on the on football practice. I'll call you in a minute." <laughs> so, Bob, and and for it's 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 a new way of experimenting friendship and womanhood and sorority. It's so so beautiful i i can talk about this for hours i can just talk about the program for hours believe me all the amazing things that has done it in my life but i um you know uh thank you so much you know i feel like you know us ladies we came together and we created something so beautiful like it's definitely not all me you know the fact that all of you women are so like determined to become better versions of yourself and so honoring of each other as the reason why the community is the way that it is, you know, like the days that like I have rough days too. And like the days where I feel like I'm tired or, or I don't feel like it. And I come and I just watch you guys flourish. Like it just reminds me every single day why we do what we do. And, you know, I just, I just, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for you as a mom. And, you know, if anybody needs marketing services, what type of marketing services do you offer so people can connect with you if they need that? Oh, gracias. So we cover the whole ecosystem of digital marketing. That means that setting up your um, social media campaign until create create you a whole um, ad strategy for you. So we we cover the whole the whole thing. Um, and you can find me at any social media as me about this MBM. I made sure that I was hoarding that name of the okay. It needs to be a name like that. Uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like you need to make sure that it's the same for everybody so i have right now i we have instagram linkedin facebook and i think that's it yeah and um and and you can you can find me there um and we can talk about i have a specific solution for for i like to create specific solutions depending on the person it's not like oh i have this formula and i'm gonna apply it to no 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 um so the first thing and how it works is that I first send you a questionnaire that you need to answer. And so I, in that questionnaire allows me to do a social media audit on whatever, depending on the answers that you give me. And after that, it's like, okay, I have this for you. Yeah, you care a lot. So I know that you're purposely going to be taking a lot of time and make everything detail oriented for whoever you're working with. You're badass me. I honor you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, for any women that are watching this right now, you know, if you're in a place where you want to be able to, you know, pay for things and not worry about them, right? You want to learn a skill um, like sales, whether you're running your own business, being a sales rep, right? Um, this is a skill that will change your life, just like it changed mine, changed Mia's, um, and not just on the technical side, but the personal side too, and enriching as a woman while you're making more money. Just uh, reach out to me directly. Just message me. I will get back to you in my messages. I'm happy to support you, honor you any way that I can. Um, and uh, Mia, is there any last thing that you want to say for any woman that's watching? Any last like inspiration for her, honoring her, whoever that woman is? Thank you. Um, thank you for that. Yes. Whatever you are going through life, you're going to get through it. Mm. Whatever you're going to, you are going to, believe me, believe me. Um, whatever you are going through life, you are going to get through it. Not because you have to, but because it will create a path of 
future prosperity, wealth, and worthiness. And I also want to say that I'm a reliable, prosperous, worthy woman. Yes, you are. Hell yeah. I love it. I love you. I love all y'all are watching. Thank you so much here for being here. And uh, we will see you soon. Make sure you buy me as a book. Yes. <laughs> Bye.